my beautiful beings. Welcome and or welcome back, depending on which reading you've clicked on. We're going to do a collective love reading. Hopefully this is... Angles, I feel like... Um... <laughs> it's so funny seeing the Six of Swords uh, come out for Six of Spades. A lot of... Um... A lot of cycles of moving beyond, moving into, uh, moving through. Uh, I look at the, I look at the um, the six of swords like your your person in this energy of like I want to move beyond this present moment. Or I used to say this, you guys, a while back. I don't remember whether it was this channel, my other channel, whether I have it here publicly on YouTube or you can find it in one of my um. One of my top tier <laughs> readings over on Gumroad. Like, some people can't handle the present moment. You know, a lot of people say just focus on the present. Some people's present moment is just as frustrating as their past moments and trying to, like, you know, put the pieces together to really focus on the future moments. I feel like this is what is happening um with your with your person, maybe even you. Uh, collective. I feel like you guys are y'all getting y'all's finances back on track. Look what I was just saying, and look what came out—the navel chalices. So just kind of, um, I feel like your boo, um, or your person, wherever you are right now, collective. Like I really feel like they they are at this this space of emotional frustration that I feel like they know is tied to something that is not serving them. Um, and it can sound like a broken record. Like we can sound repetitive as hell saying it sometimes. Right. But it's just like a system belief. Like it just like you, it could take you think of somebody who is hearing that like love is bad or loving shit for like 20 years. They're not going to learn that love is something beautiful or something to be explored and desired in like two days or two months, or maybe even two years, especially here with the Hierophant coming out here maybe some of you guys have been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities or you've been seeing a lot of things circling around um marriages or oh, my bad y'all <laughs> marriages or spiritual love spiritual unions um i just saw 222 two, two coming out here but i feel like this next cycle that you and your um boo is going through i feel like is one for the books i don't know necessarily what that means um, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Taurus energy coming out, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is a collective reading, so the signs do not really matter, honey. I really feel like your person has learned a lot of sexual wisdom from you. Um, or you guys have learned this from each other, or it's just like you guys are ready to. I feel like your person in you, I feel like this is both of you guys' energy, honestly. Um, I don't know why, like the higher thing, it feels like a kind of dual energy. Maybe you guys, so maybe somebody has um Mercury and Taurus or Taurus in the uh third house, <clears throat> but it really feels like this next cycle. Maybe I don't interesting. I don't know. Maybe sometimes your boo feels like they're inexperienced with you. So I'm I'm a strong believer sometimes, okay, that we can't always take certain ways of loving from past relationships and past connections into new ones or to present ones. So maybe like, you know, sometimes you're I don't really feel like I heard intimidated, but I don't really feel like they're feeling I feel like their mind tells them that. Um love or spiritual union or um sexual wisdom or releasing their feelings or emotions is is intimidating or something intimidating about it or it's just like maybe you felt like at times this person is intimidated by you maybe y'all have felt intimidated by each other you know the queen of wands is not a light energy honey she's loud she's not always loud in her vocals her aura is loud her energy is loud 414. So maybe that's just some things that's happening with you, um, collective with your boo. Like your maybe your energy is loud this next cycle. You know, maybe you coming through, you you picking it up and you putting it down. You doing what needs to be done. It's just like you're coming in with this, this, this pizzazz, this pizzazz, pizzazz, y'all, pizzazz, this gas, this fire. Like, I just, I love the Queen of Wands. Like, she's just, she's so creative. She's so energetic. She just really creates her own way and her own path. And I feel like this cycle for you and your boo is about, like, you, I'm, I'm assuming you're the Divine Feminine watching this reading, but you could be the Divine Masculine, okay? Because we, everybody, everybody be needing healing. Um, 
really feel like this cycle is about bringing out like this creativity, this spark, this wisdom, this sexuality, this fire that I feel like is embedded in the queen of wands. But then, you know, don't underestimate the hierophant. I never really looked at the hierophant as big daddy masculine energy. I do kind of look at the hierophant as like this teacher, right? This, this leader, but this, it's a teacher that's coming from things that they already know. So maybe, you know, you're, you're teaching your boo how to love. I feel like you're teaching this person how to love you. Cause so many times you could hear people say like, oh, this person taught me how to love, or you taught me how to love. But we're not talking about that, okay? You guys, I have too much Leo on my chart to <laughs> to even fathom that we're teaching someone about love to go out and love the world. Like, I feel like you are bringing the wisdom of the Hierophant here to your person, to this union, to this marriage relationship, whatever stage you guys are in, to teach them how to love you, to teach them how to be free and unrestricted with you, okay? So... Um, I feel like maybe at times, uh, this union or this, or maybe just love can feel very conventional between the two of you guys, seven of wands. And I feel like that's because y'all is really like fighting a lot of, I feel like you guys are fighting a lot of, um, micro battles that are adding up to macro battles. Um, if you're new here, I like to say micro and macro a little bit sometimes. Uh, however, this seven of wands, seven of clubs energy to me has always just kind of been like, we, y'all, I'm working on getting a microphone because I've been trying to do two things at once. We are at this space in, in love where it's like, we're ready to, we're, we're ready to fight for each other. Maybe sometimes, um, you know, I had this interesting channel message to come through for the higher fan. Maybe sometimes this person's traditions, their belief systems, right. That they've learned, it keeps them in, um, what am I trying to say? I mean, I can't say depressive state because that's what I'm hearing, but I'm also hearing the word debilitating, like maybe just kind of like frozen. I'm can't, or maybe somebody tried to do a freezer spell on this um, connection and we gonna thought that bitch out because nobody could ever. Or this is just somebody's very, or they just, they learned about love from, from someone that could be perceived as cold hearted or cold natured. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing bad <laughs> what a <laughs> badminton like or i'm seeing two people play like bad okay like ping pong i guess like back and forth so maybe this is what um this person is releasing or you guys are releasing this next cycle kind of like this back and forth like ping pong in a sense of like this is what we learned this is what we didn't learn this is not helping this is helping um interesting Very interesting. Uh, I see more wands energy at the bottom and I'm really starting to look at the wands differently. I feel like the wands is actually very slow moving. I don't think things have been moving very fast for you guys. Um, and I feel like a lot of this has to come, a lot of this is coming from what sacrifices are we willing to make to fight for each other? Maybe this is your booze energy. It could be your energy. Maybe you have been sacrificing. Um, maybe you feel like the, mas the, the masculine isn't making enough sacrifices for you. Maybe, um, you feel like the feminine is not making enough sacrifices for you. It could go either way. Um, but with this emperor coming out, it's kind of giving me this and the three of wands came anyway, uh, kind of giving me this notion that like your person just is, is learning to release authority or you're re learning, we're learning y'all learning to release authority two of chalices. And then we have the king of chalices. Um, I feel like this person is tired of being, emotionally uh restrictive with you your i feel like this person is tired of being emotionally restrictive themselves um you know we live in a society and a world especially especially if you guys are men watching this reading because i just be feeling y'all i don't know <laughs> like when y'all coming or if y'all here now i just be feeling it um like you know the world doesn't teach you to cry to release your emotions right to release those feelings to really just kind of like channel that 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 moon energy that feminine archetype you know that healing archetype within yourself to be like okay this hurt me this this caused this wound i have this pain i have this trigger i'm frustrated i'm working on things i'm exerting my energy but but i feel like i'm just getting hit 
left and right with with just empty pages maybe your boo writes or maybe it's like maybe somebody's been writing to release or they're writing you a letter or maybe ah this is something that comes out of my readings a lot maybe they're starting to message you or they have things they want to say but then it's like they're they um they're overly critiquing you know i don't think i'm one of those readers that's gonna tell y'all what y'all boo gonna do next I, I think i'm just here to tell you guys what they're going through like what they're not saying, their silent struggles, what what has been weighing on them. The Seven of Wands is a weighty energy. I don't know why. And I'm seeing a different deck. I don't know. It's not this, obviously, because this is in front of me. But there, I think it's the uh, Modern Witch Tarot. It's either Modern Witch Tarot or a deck that I got overseas that will come back to me in the right time. Um, literally just like up against all these wands, like ready to fight, but not necessarily knowing from the imagery what they're fighting. So this is why I say I, I'm really starting to look at the wands differently. I used to look at it as like, oh, things are moving fast. They're happening fast. It's rapid, rapid, rapid. However, it just feels like a rapid, I think I said this in a, yeah, I'm repeating myself. That's okay. Um, a rapid rev up of energy that has been misdirected or misfired. And I feel like your, your boo is like, ah. Oh, no, I don't want to do that anymore. Lay down so I can cater to you. I love that. We create magic, baby. Uh, Tim, if you are a woman watching this, make sure you're taking care of your womb health, your pH health. Uh, Y'all, when, when you are in love, love, okay, <laughs> you'd be surprised, like, the attacks. Because at this rate, to me, everything is an attack. Everything that's not normal is intact. I don't care what nobody say. At least that's what the theme for this. That's that's what I'm telling myself this week. Because I feel like maybe physically, mentally, emotionally, even spiritually, like you and this person find yourself, y'all selves going through things that y'all have never went through. And, and it's like, I feel like maybe this is a masculine energy that I'm picking up on. I just kind of feel like, you know, why is my body, oh, yep, so, so, why is my body doing this to me? Like, or I don't want my body to do this, or I don't want my mind to do this. I don't want my spirit and my soul to do this because this is the person that I love. This is the person that I see forever with, that I feel forever with, that I'm fighting for forever with, right? But then also fighting my own um, wounds and triggers and shadows. I could say demons because I, but I work with demons. So I just take it how you want it. Like, I feel like people throw words around and they don't really be knowing the words that they be throwing around, like what it means. So it's like, I feel like your person is fighting these shadows, but then it's not just spiritual shadows. I really feel like a lot of it's physical. So calling in that physical healing, um, utilizing herbs. And I don't see how anybody drinks anything other than spring water, but that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> that's just my personal opinion. Really taking care of your body, really learning about your body, knowing and understanding your your body or I feel like this is something that's been happening with your person lately or happening with you if you guys are in no contact or limited contact um and really just being um at peace with um okay being at peace with that emotional vulnerability and expression you know maybe your boo's going through some things they just don't even really feel they're like, how do I talk to, you know, my person about this, my partner, my spouse? Maybe, maybe you are. Maybe you guys have talked about it, but not in full detail. Um, I look at the Hierophant as a very physical healing energy. I know a lot of people like to say spiritual, but we ain't some Taurus energy is earth. That's here on earth. Okay. So Earthy worthy. We create magic, baby. Ba uh, we create move silently and strategically. Okay. Don't be telling. Uh getting ready to pop out this weekend. You and your boo getting ready to have a weekend in, a night on the town, or just nestled up in each other's arms. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Move silently and strategically, baby. Talk to me. I can hear you. Uh, we create magic, baby. Lay down so I can cater to you. I feel like this person just, they they have so many feelings that they always want to get out, struggle to get out. A lot of love, a lot of affection, a lot of um, expectation. Interesting. I have not heard that word um, lately. I feel like this person has a lot of expectations of themselves and you. Uh, it's given very much so. Um Venus and Cap, Venus and Aqua, Pisces. 
maybe Virgo. Some of y'all, if y'all love somebody that got Venus and Virgo, y'all email me and tell me what that's like, please. We have the wheel, but it's coming out upside down. I don't read reversals, however, I am conscious of the energy being flipped. Maybe it's just like, you know, this cycle is about calling this luck in, inviting it in, inviting those changes in, really just inviting uh, miracles in. Maybe you and your boo, you guys are needing a miracle. Maybe you haven't really been like the, the maybe the stars have not been aligning because I don't always want to assume that the stars are always aligning for everybody and now they are this week uh collective I just kind of feel like a, a change is constant a, a constant change and the status of this relationship the growth and opportunity that you guys are bringing to each other but then also when you need to rest when you need to pause i feel like maybe you guys rest and pause a lot but they're not done like they're not resting or pausing to run away from you viewer i really feel like here with the seven of swords it's like they're they're battling um maybe just feeling cold, just feeling down, just feeling like, how do I pull myself out of this? Maybe you are feeling that. Um, maybe you guys, even if you are watching this video and you don't feel like your life is like chaotic in a tower moment, like every 23 seconds, that does not mean that that's not happening in people around you guys. And if it's not happening to people around you guys, it just, scroll on tiktok for about a good 30 minutes you'll find it is out there in the world so because this is swords you guys may be energetically absorbing this not not that you want to or not that you do like i i feel like y'all got a comment on tiktok that just sent me through the roof yesterday because i feel like sometimes some people fear the fact that they may not be knowledgeable enough strong enough um have enough spirit have enough spiritual insight or insight about love marriage, union, relations, ever. And it's like their defense mechanism no, bah, Defense mechanism is to, oh, that's not hitting me. That's not hitting my house. I'm good. Or that's not happening here. I ain't got to worry about that. Or I get all that. I get all that. But then at the same time, like, be real with yourself. Be true with yourself. And I feel like this is what you and your boo are going through. You guys are learning to be real and be true with yourselves and each other because this outside world is going outside world regardless. And if anything, they do things in the programming. So you guys, it's, I'm not going to be as conspiracy theorist today. Everything, not everything, a lot of things is usually to create a lot of like, just, I don't even want to say unnecessary fear, like um, invisible fear. Cause you start like worrying about things that may not even be real. For instance, there's another train derailment somewhere. What if only you know, the trains go through where you live at? And now you're afraid that a train is going to be derailed like in your area and you're carrying the weight of that stress and that fear and that's bleeding over into your relationship, your union, your marriage. So, woo. dial it down, unplug it, take it off. Or maybe it's taking it off. Okay, so... I feel like this is very passionate love. They're very, they're very passionate. This connection is teaching you to love yourself. Just because we have this card coming out, this connection is teaching you to love yourself. Doesn't mean that you don't love yourself right now. It may just be, you know, your spirit's going to want you to let yourself go a bit deeper. It wants you to be unpen unpenetratable. <laughs> um, here goes this nauseous, nausea, nausea nauseous feeling again maybe some of you guys are watching my readings you're pregnant or you were pregnant recently i'm not pregnant right now at this moment um so it's not me but i don't know maybe maybe they want you to be i don't know but this connection is teaching you to love yourself like i was saying not saying that you do not love yourself right now viewer um but it all hurts you love yourself a little bit deeper okay love yourself a little bit deeper i feel like this this your boo has really had their heart broken by other people i feel like you have too um and i feel like this creates this pain point of projection and unnecessary worries like um 1919 a lot of intrusive thoughts everyone else's relationship is an art you know maybe sometimes you guys you, you haven't been intimate re recently or maybe it's just fighting or arguing or money or emotional distance or y'all in y'all separate corners or just work is busy or you feel like the um the spontaneous um excitement has dissolved that don't mean that you can't build it back 
I'm just feeling like it's dissolved. So I really feel like this next cycle is about the two of you guys really connecting in a way that um, is healing for the both of you guys, but it also makes sense for the for the two of you. It makes sense for your schedules. It makes sense for um, your own parameters of what you can and cannot deal with. Um, I, I feel like maybe you guys, things have been moving slow or moving at a, at a pace or a rate where sometimes it feels like, okay, you know, we're running in, we're running in different directions. Maybe we're running in different paths, but I feel like your boo is coming through to say like, no, they want to run in the path towards you. They want to run towards you. They need to, um, run towards you. Okay, maybe they've hurt you in some way, shape, or form. This is a general reading on the internet land, okay? So everybody's situation is not going to be the same, but there is something that is weighing on their heart and their spirit that they feel like they've hurt you in some way, shape, or form collective and wanting to bring forth, bring that to the surface. I look at the nave of chalices as like, I want to bring my feelings to the surface. However, I don't know how to do that because I never learned how to bring them to the surface. Or when I brought them to the surface in the past based off what I felt was right, like this chaotic moment happened or this this happened or you know maybe the conversation went different maybe the energy shifted you know you guys' bodies reacting differently so i feel like um i feel like y'all are having i don't know who is here watching this reading it does not matter whether you are married or not like you guys are having what i feel like people call married people problems because y'all spirit squad see you guys together like that's y'all are in game and I'm literally just saying that because I heard it on Sabrina <laughs> yesterday. So I hope this helps somebody in some way, shape, or form. Collective to understand a little bit what's going on with your boo when you find this reading, whenever it finds you. Okay. Um, some things in here may sound repetitive, but yeah, it got to stick at some point. Okay. Bye.